hello and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is adiola and in this video tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful hair vine right here in front of me and as you can see it looks so beautiful and you don't need an, any alice band for this design okay you don't need any alice band for it and it can just be pinned to the to the head or you can attach ribbon or elastic at the edges right here so this particular one i'm holding right here is a mixture of size 8 crystal beads size 6 crystal beads and size 8 teardrop beads but i'm going to show you how i achieved that in a moment so first of all you need your 0.50 mm wire 0.50 mm wire and then you will need your beads any color that you desire in any size of your choice so the first thing you want to do is to load your beads into the wire the way you want it to be on the vine all right and after that you're going to start to twist but first of all i'm loading my wire my beads into the wire all through because that makes the job really easy so you keep loading for me i'm doing like a mixture of champagne gold and red so i'm putting two champagne gold and one red of size eight crystal beads so you go ahead and load everything until you are you have exhausted your beads and then you can go to the twisting part so first of all let me load and then we'll, back, we'll be back and i can show you but before we um before i show you the process please if you're new to this channel go ahead and subscribe because this is where you get first hand millinery tutorial that you can start today <laughs> right so go ahead and subscribe and put on the notification button to be the first to get it a notification when i upload my next video all right so this is what i have right here so from the edge of your wire we are going to leave about 25 inches long 25 inches long empty wire right here so i'm going to start by picking the first bead so you need to watch me really carefully and then i twist so i twist the wire long enough to have a bend and then I twist it together like this so this is what is giving me this edge right here so that's the first step and then you twist the middle of your wire you twist it and then you start to create your branches So I twist this till I get to the middle I move it to one side like so and then I pick another one twist it till I get to the middle so you have like two branches one and two and then I pick one and twist the middle right there so the intention that i have is to have my red color in the middle all through so just go ahead and watch me as i repeat the process i branch out to the left i move it i pick another one I twist till it gets to the middle and then I pick the bead for the center part and then I twist on it. So this is the process you're going to continue with. You pick, you twist to the center 
shift it to the other side so that you can have space to twist the one that comes next and after that you pick the one that comes to the middle and then you twist so you want to ensure that the space you have in the middle is equal but if it's not equal it's also good so this is what i'm going to have as i continue this process so as you continue to twist you have to unwind or unwrap your wire so that your bead can go to the bottom so you have enough space in front here or on top to twist So this is what I have right here. So when you follow that process, it keeps getting longer and longer into a beautiful vine like this. So this is what I have left on my wire. The beads I have left is not as long as this one, but I'm going to leave it the way it is. So it's going to be one long and one short. So after that, you can use um, pins to place this on the hair, like to style it. You pass your paint through that hole or you can use ribbon or you can use elastic so let me show you an example of what i mean so you can get a ribbon like this and then you tie like this And then you repeat the process here. I'm supposed to join this two into one. So that's why that's why I'm cutting this one off. Okay, yes, I'm supposed to put this together into one piece. And then pass it into the hole. Then I tie. So this is what I have at the end of the day. Can you see how it looks? So beautiful and then you can just put it on your head and then you tie. Same for this other one. So I will just use a green, sorry, a gold ribbon to tie the edges right here so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a comment tell me if you love it and if you want me to see any other thing anytime soon you can drop it in the comment section thank you so much for staying till the end i love you i'll see you in my next video bye